All right, thanks, Caitlin. It was a Super Bowl like no other, and hopefully we will never see a pandemic Super Bowl again. But the commercials were there to entertain, as always. So how did they do? We're joined by marketing expert Tim Burt to give us his take on the best and the worst. And Tim, I understand you actually live critiqued your reactions to the commercials during yesterday's game. What do you think overall? Yeah, I've been doing that for about 15 years. Uh, it definitely felt different. The, the serious commercials felt more serious. The funny ones were still just funny. But, you know, this is the great subjectivity contest. You'll right. never get a 100% consensus. Boy, isn't that the truth? Okay, let's get right to it. We're starting with your winners. And uh, one of your winners is my top favorite on the list, and that is the Toyota ad. Let's take a listen real quick. Mrs. Long? Yes. We've found a baby girl for your adoption, but there are some things you need to know. She's in Siberia, and she was born with a rare condition. Her legs will need to be amputated. I know this is difficult to hear. Her life, it won't be easy. Okay, I know why that worked for me. Why do you think it worked for the general public, Tim? If you can get a guy like me, who's super jaded, 30,000 plus commercials <laughs> around the world, been doing this for over 25 years, if you can get me to hook me, uh -huh. <laughs> you, you got something. Uh, th this, the, the story in this is incredible. The setup was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. My only concern from a sales standpoint is, well, it's two things. One, you're not really selling cars, but right. Toyota is, is, I wonder if the name gets buried a little mm -hmm. too much. But yeah. masterful, masterful commercial. I thought it was beautiful the way they had her swimming through her life and what happened. But I oh, agree. Yeah. I, I don't know if I was remembering it was Toyota as much as it was. It brought tears to my eyes and gave me warm fuzzies. Okay, let's go to right. the next winner with, uh, with your list. And that is the T-Mobile ad with Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton. We're going to play that while you tell us why you think this one worked. Go ahead. Again. What are you looking for? Super relatable. I mean, any any woman over the age of probably country. 35 <laughs> absolutely knows the backstory of this whole thing if you follow Gwen Stefani or you know the the voice or any of those shows mm -hmm. you knew what was going on and they actually did a this is when you incorporate real life into a product and we've all been on those jumpy FaceTime calls or whatever and you, can you say that again <laughs> yeah that was great T-Mobile T -Mobile actually says hey you know what we got the, the best 5G network or whatever it is I mean this is masterful just yeah it's, I it's it. just I great it. I agree with you okay indeed.com tell us why you liked that one people out of work they want to get people back to work you know we we talked about this last week and and you know there's just a, a a moment of excitement i think you know as the folks at indeed will tell you when your commercial plays and you know you've got probably 50 60 70 million eyeballs on you and they're telling other people hey i know you know uncle dave needs a job tell him to go to indeed and upload his resume uh the, the slice of life inspiring uh, the night that the kid that did the song the cover song was 19 they found him on tiktok or youtube Wow. I mean, this is <clears throat> this is really, really well done. Oh, very, very cool. Okay, let's go to the losers now. We're starting with Rocket Mortgage, and before you give me your uh, impact feelings about that one, let's listen to a little bit of that right now. Can we even afford this house? I'm pretty sure we can. Pretty sure. With Rocket Mortgage, you can be certain. Not pretty sure. What's the difference? Let me show you. I'm pretty sure these aren't poisonous. Pretty sure these are parachutes. Mine has a sandwich. That's mine. Okay, why didn't you like this one, Mr. Tim? I'm pretty sure this was devised by an <laughs> eight year old. Uh, that was the. If you can't figure out, you have to spend 60 seconds telling me the difference between pretty sure and certain. Come on. Okay. I mean, it's just, it's funny. Yes, this is like cotton candy. It's there's just not not a lot of substance there. Okay, I love it. Okay, and then the next losing ad was is it for Fiverr or Fiverr? What is this? Fiverr. 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 This is this is an online uh, and I've used Fiverr before. This is an online uh, resource for you to hire a, a freelancer to do you know any kind of job, graphic design or whatever it might be. This was just kind of a mess. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I know what Fiverr is. I'm in I'm in their target demo, and I'm going oh come on. It, it just. I, I, it just, this is a little too creative for its own good, and I use the word creative loosely. <laughs> okay. Um, it just, it was just kind of a mess. Okay, not a fan of that one. And then finally, you had more, but let's go to the last one that we have time for. And I think that was uh, the General Motors commercial, right? 
Yeah, the one with Will Ferrell. Yeah. Well, actually, there were two. The one with the Edward Scissorhands ripoff is brilliant. This one, um, I actually did a video critiquing why this is so bad. Uh, basically, telling us that Will Ferrell is going to get going to Norway because they're out EVing and they're buying more EVs than per capita than America. Mm -hmm. And uh, this Ultium battery, which we never find out what it does. We see pictures of cars, but we don't know the names. We see a Hummer. I don't know if that's what it's going to look like. It's just kind of a big mark. mess. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know, I'm curious. You spend $5 million on an ad, and then you put out something like that that's so simplistic. As you said earlier, you wonder if just your kid might have been able to do this commercial. How can this happen? <laughs> uh, a lot of twisting arms in boardrooms. <laughs> I think, you know, you get the right person to say, I like that ad, even though it might be garbage. Mm -hmm. But if they're the one writing the check, hey, man. It's all that matters. <laughs> you know, be who has the king, who has the gold is the king, right? Okay, so, what's the target audience range for Super Bowl? Like, they want to reach from this age to what? Oh, it really is, uh, I'd say, age really 10 to 100. I mean, you're okay. hitting over 100 million people. I don't mm -hmm. know what the, the ratings were last night, how many people watched last night. I haven't seen those yet. Yeah. But you're talking over at least 100 million people. And that's yeah. just on TV. That's crazy. So you're hitting everybody, right. really. And you spend a lot of money to do it. Okay, marketingwithtim.com yeah. is the website for our viewers if they want to follow you. Always fun to talk to you. Thanks for joining me this morning. Good to see you, Tim. Thank you. Thanks for having me back. Okay, and then as we were talking about this, we want to move on now to our Instapoll question.